One of the simplest ways to obtain customer feedback is to just ask willing customers to provide it in an interview. Customer interviews can be a great way for your business to ask customers about specific aspects of your business and how it played a role in their success. This format not only allows you to show off your different products and features but also lets potential leads see their real-world application. Customers' interviews are a more flexible approach to testimonials because they can be portrayed over a variety of different mediums. They can be recorded and posted as a video or audio piece, or they can be transcribed to a written interview that's posted on your company's website and blog. Companies often will choose one or a few of these methods to optimize the testimonial's reach. One of the simplest ways to obtain customer feedback is to just ask willing customers to provide it in an interview. Customer interviews can be a great way for your business to ask customers about specific aspects of your business and how it played a role in their success. This format not only allows you to show off your different products and features but also lets potential leads see their real-world application. Customers' interviews are a more flexible approach to testimonials because they can be portrayed over a variety of different mediums. They can be recorded and posted as a video or audio piece, or they can be transcribed to a written interview that's posted on your company's website and blog. Companies often will choose one or a few of these methods to optimize the testimonial's reach. The practice of punishing an individual for having committed a criminal wrong is as old as civilization and this practice still continues today, though in not so barbaric ways. With the increase in population, there has been a corresponding increase in the crime rate and there is a dire need for society to curb, if not to eradicate, such criminal occurrences. This has led to the imposition of stiff penalties under criminal laws with the ultimate in the punishment of the criminal offender. Many countries in the world today, including Malaysia, have legislated laws that state expressly that certain offences are capital offences for which the punishment is the death penalty. However, in some countries such as Belgium, Sweden and Brazil, where the death penalty has been abolished, the alternative is long-term imprisonment. The practice of punishing an individual for having committed a criminal wrong is as old as civilization, and this practice still continues today, though in not so barbaric ways. With the increase in population, there has been a corresponding increase in the crime rate and there is a dire need for society to curb, if not to eradicate, such criminal occurrences. This has led to the imposition of stiff penalties under criminal laws with the ultimate in the punishment of the criminal offender. Many countries in the world today, including Malaysia, have legislated laws that state expressly that certain offenses are capital offenses for which the punishment is the death penalty. However, in some countries such as Belgium, Sweden and Brazil, where the death penalty has been abolished, the alternative is long-term imprisonment. Mass communication is the study of how the information related to entities an individual, communicate or transfers to the entire world at the same time. The information is generally disseminated using the newspapers, books, magazines, websites, blogs, radio, film and television. There is a rapid expansion in the mass communication industry in the last 10 years, with more and more news channels and media houses coming into picture every year. Mass communication is actually, communicating those information that is not known to people around the globe, and thus to make information available to everyone, by using the latest technological platform, in the form of blogs, websites, and television. Mass communication is the study of how the information related to entities an individual, communicate or transfers to the entire world at the same time. The information is generally disseminated using the newspapers, books, magazines, websites, blogs, radio, film and television. There is a rapid expansion in the mass communication industry in the last 10 years, with more and more news channels and media houses coming into picture every year. Mass communication is actually, communicating those information that is not known to people around the globe, and thus to make information available to everyone, by using the latest technological platform, in the form of blogs, websites, and television.
Robotics is the intersection of science, engineering and technology that produces machines, called robots, that substitute for human actions. In 2005, 90% of all robots could be found assembling cars in automotive factories. These robots consist mainly of mechanical arms tasked with welding or screwing on certain parts of a car. Today, we are seeing an evolved and expanded definition of robotics that includes the development, creation and use of bots that explore Earth's harshest conditions, robots that assist law enforcement and even robots that assist in almost every facet of healthcare. Robotics is the intersection of science, engineering and technology that produces machines, called robots, that substitute for human actions. In 2005, 90% of all robots could be found assembling cars in automotive factories. These robots consist mainly of mechanical arms tasked with welding or screwing on certain parts of a car. Today, we are seeing an evolved and expanded definition of robotics that includes the development, creation and use of bots that explore Earth's harshest conditions, robots that assist law enforcement and even robots that assist in almost every facet of healthcare. How many calories you need per day depends on whether you want to maintain, lose, or gain weight, as well as various other factors, such as your gender, age, height, current weight, activity level, and metabolic health. Reducing calories does not mean starving yourself. A few simple dietary and lifestyle changes, including exercising, properly hydrating, and increasing your protein intake, can help you lose weight and feel satisfied. How many calories you need per day depends on whether you want to maintain, lose, or gain weight, as well as various other factors, such as your gender, age, height, current weight, activity level, and metabolic health. Reducing calories does not mean starving yourself. A few simple dietary and lifestyle changes, including exercising, properly hydrating, and increasing your protein intake, can help you lose weight and feel satisfied. Agriculture is undergoing rapid transformation and this may affect its ability to respond to global challenges. Climate change, land and environmental degradation, food insecurity, watery scarcity and persistent poverty are threatening agricultural productivity. Agricultural systems must, therefore, adapt. Family farms have already proved to be competitive and sustainable when the conditions are right, but they need tailored investment policies and solutions if they are to flourish. World Agriculture Watch, VOV, works with country partners to bridge knowledge gaps with a view to better informing policy design, particularly in relation to family farmers. Agriculture is undergoing rapid transformation and this may affect its ability to respond to global challenges. Climate change, land and environmental degradation, food insecurity, watery scarcity and persistent poverty are threatening agricultural productivity. Agricultural systems must, therefore, adapt. Family farms have already proved to be competitive and sustainable when the conditions are right, but they need tailored investment policies and solutions if they are to flourish. World Agriculture Watch, VOV, works with country partners to bridge knowledge gaps with a view to better informing policy design, particularly in relation to family farmers. Organs, such as the heart, the lungs, the stomach, the kidneys, the skin, and the liver, are made up of two or more types of tissue organized to serve a particular function. For example, the heart pumps blood, the lungs bring in oxygen and eliminate carbon dioxide, and the skin provides a barrier to protect internal structures from the external environment. Most organs contain all four tissue types. The layered walls of the small intestine provide a good example of how tissues form an organ. The inside of the intestine is lined by epithelial cells, some of which secrete hormones or digestive enzymes and others of which absorb nutrients. Around the epithelial layer are layers of connective tissue and smooth muscle, interspersed with glands, blood vessels, and neurons. The smooth muscle contracts to move food through the gut, under control of its associated networks of neurons. Organs, 
such as the heart, the lungs, the stomach, the kidneys, the skin, and the liver, are made up of two or more types of tissue organized to serve a particular function. For example, the heart pumps blood, the lungs bring in oxygen and eliminate carbon dioxide, and the skin provides a barrier to protect internal structures from the external environment. Most organs contain all four tissue types. The layered walls of the small intestine provide a good example of how tissues form an organ. The inside of the intestine is lined by epithelial cells, some of which secrete hormones or digestive enzymes and others of which absorb nutrients. Around the epithelial layer are layers of connective tissue and smooth muscle, interspersed with glands, blood vessels, and neurons. The smooth muscle contracts to move food through the gut, under control of its associated networks of neurons. Different GEM, genetically modified, organisms include different genes inserted in different ways. This means that individual GM foods and their safety should be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis and that it is not possible to make general statements on the safety of all GM foods. GM foods currently available on the international market have passed safety assessments and are not likely to present risks for human health. In addition, no effects on human health have been shown as a result of the consumption of such foods by the general population in the countries where they have been approved. Continuous application of safety assessments based on the Codex Alimentarius principles and, where appropriate, adequate post-market monitoring, should form the basis for ensuring the safety of GM foods. Different GM, genetically modified, organisms include different genes inserted in different ways. This means that individual GM foods and their safety should be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis and that it is not possible to make general statements on the safety of all GM foods. GM foods currently available on the international market have passed safety assessments and are not likely to present risks for human health. In addition, no effects on human health have been shown as a result of the consumption of such foods by the general population in the countries where they have been approved. Continuous application of safety assessments based on the Codex Alimentarius principles and, where appropriate, adequate post-market monitoring, should form the basis for ensuring the safety of GM foods. Industrial pollution comes in a variety of forms. There are many federal regulations regarding types and amounts of pollutants that can be emitted from industries, though in some countries, companies who are over their limit can buy pollution credit from companies who are under the targeted amount. Heat pollution is commonly caused by industries, but many regions have passed legislation requiring that power plants and industries cool water before they release it. Construction, mining and logging operations can cause great amounts of sediment to pollute lakes and streams. While agricultural practices are responsible for the most sediment pollution, construction and mining can lose up to 70 tons of sediment per acre per year, which is 15 times higher than the normal cropland rate. Industrial pollution comes in a variety of forms. There are many federal regulations regarding types and amounts of pollutants that can be emitted from industries, though in some countries, companies who are over their limit can buy pollution credit from companies who are under the targeted amount. Heat pollution is commonly caused by industries, but many regions have passed legislation requiring that power plants and industries cool water before they release it. Construction, mining and logging operations can cause great amounts of sediment to pollute lakes and streams. While agricultural practices are responsible for the most sediment pollution, construction and mining can lose up to 70 tons of sediment per acre per year, which is 15 times higher than the normal cropland rate. The mind is highly complex, and conditions that relate to it can be hard to treat. Thought processes, emotions, memories, dreams, perceptions, and so on cannot be seen physically, like a skin rash or heart defect. While physical signs of some mental health issues can be observed, such as the plaques that develop with Alzheimer's disease, many theories of psychology are based on observation of human behavior. A psychologist will meet with patients carry out assessments to find out what their concerns are and what is causing any difficulties, and recommend or provide treatment, for example, through counseling and psychotherapy. Psychologists may have other roles, 
2. They may carry out studies to advise health authorities and other bodies on social and other strategies, assess children who find it difficult to learn in school, give workshops on how to prevent bullying, work with recruitment teams in companies, and much more. The mind is highly complex, and conditions that relate to it can be hard to treat. Thought processes, emotions, memories, dreams, perceptions, and so on cannot be seen physically, like a skin rash or heart defect. While physical signs of some mental health issues can be observed, such as the plaques that develop with Alzheimer's disease, many theories of psychology are based on observation of human behavior. A psychologist will meet with patients, carry out assessments to find out what their concerns are and what is causing any difficulties, and recommend or provide treatment, for example, through counseling and psychotherapy. Psychologists may have other roles, too. They may carry out studies to advise health authorities and other bodies on social and other strategies, assess children who find it difficult to learn in school, give workshops on how to prevent bullying, work with recruitment teams in companies, and much more. Bees are entirely dependent on flowers for food, which consists of pollen and nectar, the latter sometimes modified and stored as honey. There is no doubt that bees and the flowers that they pollinate evolved simultaneously. As bees go from flower to flower gathering pollen, a small amount is rubbed from their bodies and deposited on the flowers they visit. This loss of pollen is significant, for it often results in cross-pollination of plants. The practical value of bees as pollinators is enormously greater than the value of their honey and wax production. Male bees are usually short-lived and never collect pollen, nor do they have other responsibilities in connection with providing for the young. Female bees do all the work of nest making and provisioning and usually have special anatomical structures that assist them in carrying pollen. Most bees are polylectic, meaning that they gather pollen from a wide variety of flowers. However, some bees collect pollen only from flowers of certain families, others from flowers of certain colors. Oligolectic bees gather pollen from only a few related kinds of flowers. The mouth parts of bees, like the pollen collecting and pollen carrying devices, seem to be adapted to different flowers. Bees are entirely dependent on flowers for food, which consists of pollen and nectar, the latter sometimes modified and stored as honey. There is no doubt that bees and the flowers that they pollinate evolved simultaneously. As bees go from flower to flower gathering pollen, a small amount is rubbed from their bodies and deposited on the flowers they visit. This loss of pollen is significant, for it often results in cross-pollination of plants. The practical value of bees as pollinators is enormously greater than the value of their honey and wax production. Male bees are usually short-lived and never collect pollen, nor do they have other responsibilities in connection with providing for the young. Female bees do all the work of nest making and provisioning and usually have special anatomical structures that assist them in carrying pollen. Most bees are polylectic, meaning that they gather pollen from a wide variety of flowers. However, some bees collect pollen only from flowers of certain families, others from flowers of certain colors. Oligolectic bees gather pollen from only a few related kinds of flowers. The mouth parts of bees, like the pollen collecting and pollen carrying devices, seem to be adapted to different flowers. Most ornithologists work for land and wildlife agencies at the federal and state levels, or non-profit conservation organizations. They may also teach and conduct research at colleges and universities. Some work at zoos, wildlife parks, and as veterinarians and environmental scientists, though these jobs are rarely exclusive to birds. Workers in certain positions may spend a significant amount of time in the field gathering data and studying birds in their natural habitats. Field work may involve travel to remote locations, including international travel it can also involve travel by foot, exposure to all kinds of weather conditions, and isolation. Ornithologists also work in laboratories, and may process data with computers in an office setting. Most ornithologists work full-time. They may work non-standard or extended hours when doing field work, such as during breeding season. Most ornithologists work for land and wildlife agencies at the federal and state levels, or non-profit conservation organizations. They may also teach and conduct research at colleges and universities. Some work at zoos, wildlife parks, 
and as veterinarians and environmental scientists, though these jobs are rarely exclusive to birds. Workers in certain positions may spend a significant amount of time in the field gathering data and studying birds in their natural habitats. Field work may involve travel to remote locations, including international travel. It can also involve travel by foot, exposure to all kinds of weather conditions, and isolation. Ornithologists also work in laboratories, and may process data with computers in an office setting. Most ornithologists work full-time. They may work non-standard or extended hours when doing field work, such as during breeding season. Located off Malaysia and Borneo, Sipadan is one of the best dives sites in the world. If you have your dive certificate, make sure you venture out here. Not a lot of people make it to this part of Malaysia but there's a lot to see here besides diving. Go the extra mile, and make your way off the tourist trail a bit. Sipadan is arguably one of the best five dive sites in the world. The place is teeming with life. You will see turtles, cave systems, sharks, dolphins, schools of fish, bright coral, bright fish, and everything in between. Located off Malaysia and Borneo, Sipadan is one of the best dives sites in the world. If you have your dive certificate, make sure you venture out here. Not a lot of people make it to this part of Malaysia but there's a lot to see here besides diving. Go the extra mile, and make your way off the tourist trail a bit. Sipadan is arguably one of the best five dive sites in the world. The place is teeming with life. You will see turtles, cave systems, sharks, dolphins, schools of fish, bright coral, bright fish, and everything in between. Land degradation is the result of a number of largely human-induced factors, such as poor soil and water management practices, deforestation, overgrazing, improper crop rotation and unsustainable land use. In turn, these can significantly affect soil fertility, resulting in diminished crop yields and food insecurity. Traditional methods of modeling and monitoring soil erosion usually require a large number of parameters and many years of taking measurements. However, over the past decade, nuclear technologies and isotopic techniques have been introduced, which can effectively assess the soil and water status of an area, as well as identifying hot spots of land degradation. Land degradation is the result of a number of largely human-induced factors, such as poor soil and water management practices, deforestation, overgrazing, improper crop rotation and unsustainable land use. In turn, these can significantly affect soil fertility, resulting in diminished crop yields and food insecurity. Traditional methods of modeling and monitoring soil erosion usually require a large number of parameters and many years of taking measurements. However, over the past decade, nuclear technologies and isotopic techniques have been introduced, which can effectively assess the soil and water status of an area, as well as identifying hot spots of land degradation. Vitamin A deficiency is all down to an improper diet for chickens. A clear sign of vitamin A deficiency is stunted growth in your chicks. It can also manifest in different ways, such as dry eyes or a high susceptibility to infection, but stunted growth is the easiest to spot. The best way to avoid a vitamin A deficiency is to add certain foods to their feed. Foods like broccoli and kale will do the trick. Vitamin D deficiency directly impacts egg production, so if you're breeding chickens, you'll want to keep on top of this. A deficiency can cause thin shelled eggs because when a chick is growing, the calcium is pulled from the shell itself, and vitamin D can provide the necessary calcium. Sunlight for 30 plus minutes a day will do the trick, as will cod liver oil, but since this goes hand in hand with calcium deficiency, you can add oyster shell as a snack to your chicken's diets. Vitamin A deficiency is all down to an improper diet for chickens. A clear sign of vitamin A deficiency is stunted growth in your chicks. It can also manifest in different ways, such as dry eyes or a high susceptibility to infection, but stunted growth is the easiest to spot. The best way to avoid a vitamin A deficiency is to add certain foods to their feed. Foods like broccoli and kale will do the trick. 
Vitamin D deficiency directly impacts egg production, so if you're breeding chickens, you'll want to keep on top of this. A deficiency can cause thin shelled eggs because when a chick is growing, the calcium is pulled from the shell itself, and vitamin D can provide the necessary calcium. Sunlight for 30 plus minutes a day will do the trick, as will cod liver oil, but since this goes hand in hand with calcium deficiency, you can add oyster shell as a snack to your chicken's diets. A national solar provider is a company that installs solar panels in various states and locations. These companies are the ones you usually hear about when you think about solar panels. They have massive marketing efforts and an enormous network of customers. On the other hand, local solar panel companies usually only serve a specific area or state. These companies typically have crucial local expertise and building code knowledge. So though it may sound counterintuitive to choose a smaller solar company, local installers have many key benefits that make them much more suitable for local construction projects. A national solar provider is a company that installs solar panels in various states and locations. These companies are the ones you usually hear about when you think about solar panels. They have massive marketing efforts and an enormous network of customers. On the other hand, Local solar panel companies usually only serve a specific area or state. These companies typically have crucial local expertise and building code knowledge. So though it may sound counterintuitive to choose a smaller solar company, local installers have many key benefits that make them much more suitable for local construction projects. A shark's eye is similar to the eye of other vertebrates, with many parts that we had recognize, a lens, a retina, an iris and a cornea. Shark eyes have duplex retinas, or retinas containing both rod and cone cells. Rods enable the shark to see light and darkness, while cones allow for the detection of color. Scientists are still unsure how sharks interpret colors. Unlike humans. Shark eyes are equipped with a layer of mirrored crystals located behind the retina. This provides a means for light to be detected a second time. Light is defocused, acuity reduced and sensitivity increases. Such an adaptation enables sharks to see even in low light and dark or murky water and up to 10 times greater than humans in clear water. A shark's eye is similar to the eye of other vertebrates, with many parts that we had recognize. A lens, a retina, an iris and a cornea. Shark eyes have duplex retinas, or retinas containing both rod and cone cells. Rods enable the shark to see light and darkness, while cones allow for the detection of color. Scientists are still unsure how sharks interpret colors. Unlike humans, shark eyes are equipped with a layer of mirrored crystals located behind the retina. This provides a means for light to be detected a second time. Light is defocused, acuity reduced and sensitivity increases. Such an adaptation enables sharks to see even in low light and dark or murky water and up to 10 times greater than humans in clear water. Fifty percent of the maintenance cost is reduced when you add floor protectors to any part of the furniture which comes in contact with the floor. They also come in various types, sizes, and shapes in order to fit into different kinds of floor materials and furniture legs. The floor protectors are also available for special kinds of furniture like wobble chairs, vending machine, caster wheel office chair and music stands. But in order to protect well, you should always look out of floor protectors that are made out of reinforced felt pads, mechanical fastening method, commercial grade pressure sensitive adhesive, etc. In order to ensure that the floor protectors don't fall out before they wear out, mechanical fastening is the best method because it uses a snap-in-place or sleeve system. 50% of the maintenance cost is reduced when you add floor protectors to any part of the furniture which comes in contact with the floor. They also come in various types, sizes, and shapes in order to fit into different kinds of floor materials and furniture legs. The floor protectors are also available for special kinds of furniture like wobble chairs, vending machine, caster wheel office chair and music stands. But in order to protect well, 
You should always look out of floor protectors that are made out of reinforced felt pads, mechanical fastening method, commercial grade pressure sensitive adhesive, etc. In order to ensure that the floor protectors don't fall out before they wear out, mechanical fastening is the best method because it uses a snap in place or sleeve system. When a microbial strain is indicated to be a probiotic, there are some specific prerequisites that need to be addressed. One of them is adhesion to the intestinal mucosa for colonization and further interaction between the administered probiotic strains and the host. This specific interaction is required for the modulation of the antagonism against pathogens and for actions in the immune system. Intestinal epithelial cells secrete mucin to avoid the adhesion of pathogenic bacteria. Several lactobacillus proteins have been shown to promote this adhesion, exhibiting surface adhesins that facilitate attachments to the mucus layer. When a microbial strain is indicated to be a probiotic, there are some specific prerequisites that need to be addressed. One of them is adhesion to the intestinal mucosa for colonization and further interaction between the administered probiotic strains and the host. This specific interaction is required for the modulation of the antagonism against pathogens and for actions in the immune system. Intestinal epithelial cells secrete mucin to avoid the adhesion of pathogenic bacteria. Several lactobacillus proteins have been shown to promote this adhesion, exhibiting surface adhesins that facilitate attachments to the mucus layer. The Himalayas is the highest mountain range in the world, and has 9 out of 10 of the world's highest peaks, including Mount Everest. These mountains, referred to as the Third Pole, are the source of some of Asia's major rivers and also help to regulate our planet's climate. For centuries people here have developed a unique culture that weaves nature and people together into the same fabric of life. The region is the birthplace of the Buddha and is full of sacred natural sites such as secret valleys and high mountain lakes that predate ancient Hinduism. The Himalayas is the highest mountain range in the world, and has 9 out of 10 of the world's highest peaks, including Mount Everest. These mountains, referred to as the Third Pole, are the source of some of Asia's major rivers and also help to regulate our planet's climate. For centuries people here have developed a unique culture that weaves nature and people together into the same fabric of life. The region is the birthplace of the Buddha, and is full of sacred natural sites such as secret valleys and high mountain lakes that predate ancient Hinduism.